This video reviews the topography capture in your Medmont Cornhill topographer. Start by creating the patient, then once selected, click on the Corneal Topographer Capture icon. That will bring up the various options that we have for capture. Let's begin with a standard topography capture. This is the one that we use for any screenings if we were trying to understand the general eye shape. This is the one that you're going to use most often related to topography capture. When we select it, you may hear the wheel inside the instrument moving around, ensuring that it has the right focusing lens for the topography capture. Then it'll bring up the test window. What we're going to do is center the green crosshair to the central ring. If the rings aren't apparent, then move the instrument forward until you can begin to see them. Put that green crosshair on the center using the joystick, and that focuses the axis of the instrument to the patient's visual axis. Next, while the red line's at the top of the runway, we're too far away from the patient, we need to move the instrument forward while the red line's at the bottom of the runway, we're too close to the patient and need to move it back. So let's move it towards center, but ask our patient to blink and hold their eye open as long as they can. We'll try to get a capture within about four seconds. If not, we'll ask the patient to blink again until we're able to get a 90% confidence or better. Now notice along the right-hand side, you have 92, 92, 92, and 95%. Over 90% and we're happy with the capture. Here we can see percentage confidences above 90, 92 to 95. Let's go to the rightmost, the 95%. The rightmost will always be your highest percentage confidence. Then we can click on the square button on the base of the unit to zoom in and ensure that the instance we took this photo, the tear film was smooth and even. We didn't have any tear film breakup that might distort the rings and the accuracy of the capture. If we're happy with the capture, we can click select and that will suspend that image in order for us to take additional captures before we're ready to save all of the captured images. Let's take one more. We'll ask the patient to open up wide We'll try to center to get a 90% or better, which we've done. Again, we'll zoom in, ensure the rings look parallel and even. If so, then we'll click select. And now we can choose to go over to the left eye and take additional images there or finish by clicking the right button. It will allow us to review, add any comments to this window or we can click next and finish to save those topographies into the patient file. So a very simple process of being able to acquire topographies, multiple images on each eye, and we can do both rights and lefts within the same window and within the same session. 